there and welcome to Excellent Link Academy. For this class, we'll be considering a very important topic in physics called work, energy, and power. So we know these concepts one after the other, right? So either you call it work or you call it work done. So energy and power. So and power. Of course, for this class, we'll be discussing about this idea of work done energy and power but for this study of, the, of this topic there are about three key key terms here number one is work done number two is energy number three is power let us call this concept one after the other for this class we're discussing about just work done only in our next um two classes we're discussing about energy and power let's have the first one called work done work done also called um work if you want to work done let's start with the concept of work done what is work done by definition work is said to be done when a force moves an object towards the direction of that force so i'm saying that a work can only be done when a force move an object towards the direction of that force what am i what am i saying in essence let's say i have this board here i'm applying a force to this board i'm pushing this board no matter how force i apply to this board or how um how strength i am so if i push this board push it so far this board does not move any distance therefore i have not what um therefore work has not been done at all so um let's say for instance now i have a, a um a force of 5000 of 5000 kilonewton if i apply a force of 5000 kilonewton on this board so far this board does not move it means that work has not been done why because we, we said earlier that work is said to be done when a force move a distance towards direction of that force so in that um definition there are two key terms there one is force and the other is what distance so it means that for work to be done a force that is applied on an object that object must move a distance before work is said to be done all right let's say i have this marker here right i have this marker i apply a force of let's say 10 newton right i throw this um back out 10 newton I'm expecting that the marker move towards where my force is actually directing it to. So if I let's say for instance I throw this marker um to you this way, the marker move halfway and come back to me. Listen, no, I throw this marker to, um to you this way, and the marker I'm expecting that the marker should meet you, but if the marker moves halfway and come back to me, therefore that is not work done in physics. That is called spiritual work done all right um i want to start the concept of work done let us cause uh what's it called the mathematical expression for work done mathematically mathematically we are saying that work done or work if you want to work done is simply what the the product of force times distance so let's say i have a force of 50 newton work done let's say i have a force of 50 newton and the orbit i'm pushing that i'm applying the force on does not move any distance let's say distance is zero so i have a force of 50 newton distance is zero the, the object does not move so the work done there is what is zero so it means that Work can only be done when that force that is applied on an object move a distance, please. So that's like the concept behind work done. All right. Um, from here now, we know that um, from here we are saying that work done W is equal to force F times distance S. So we, we majorly we use distance. We represent distance as what as X in science. So let's get the SI unit for work done. For work done, work done is equal to what's force measured in newton. Met, the second thing was in meters. So therefore, 
the SI unit, SI unit for uh, what's it called? Work done is given as Newton meter or Joule. Joule, if you want to. So we represent the SI unit for work done as Newton per meter or Joule, if you want to. Right? So this is like the mathematical expression for work done. I haven't understand the concept behind the mathematical expression of work done. Let's dive into con one thing called, um, or next concept called um, work done in in force feed, right? Work done in terms of force feed. And let's see the concept behind that. All right, um, let's discuss work done. Work done um, in terms of force feed all right let us cause work done in terms of force feed all right um what is force feed first let us find force feed what is force feed first before we discuss the concern behind work done in force feed what is force feed um by definition listen please by definition Force feed is simply a feed where an object expresses a force. Uh, where an object expresses a force. So um, the distance where an object expresses a force is called force feed. Right? So when it comes to force feed, force feed, sorry, when it comes to force feed, whenever an object is being dropped or lifted, we say that the work done is simply the product, the work done. Work done is simply what product of what mass and what the gravity and height and acceleration due to gravity multiplied by height. So when it comes to force feed, we are saying that the work done in terms of force feed is no longer force times distance. It is now what? The product of mass times acceleration to gravity and height. So I'm saying that work done can also be expressed as mass times gravity times height. So this is another mathematical expression for calculating work done. That the work done um, that the work done that occur in a fist for in a force feed, right? Let's say I have an of um an height this way h, and I have a body here. Let me call it mass. This body is coming down, falling down. So either whenever this object is that um, falling or lifted up, either drop or lifted uh, um, on a fist for on a on a force feed, right? We are saying that the work done is equal to what mass times gravity times height as you can see in front of you all right um where mass um uh, is more than what in kilogram where gravity or perhaps acceleration to gravity is more than what meter per second squared all right and where height h height measured in what in meters so these are like the s sign for each um um parameter as you can see in front of you let's now use this idea to solve some problems and let's see what we can actually um solve using this concept welcome back example one says a body of mass 50 kilogram runs up a set of steps of total height three meters Find the um, work done against gravity. So first is first, solution. For that question, my first priority is to what? List out the given parameters, right? What am I given? First is first, um, I'm given that, number one, I'm given the mass. Mass, that's M, as what? 50 kilogram. Next up, I'm given total height. H. Height. Total height H as 3 meters. Next up, uh, find the work done against gravity. So I'm looking for what the work done 
is unknown. Don't forget earlier, there are two mathematical expressions for work done. We have work done as force times distance, and we also have work done as what? Mass times gravity and height. Open your eyes well. Which one will I use? Will I use this one or this one? Of course, it is clear that I'm having mass there, I'm having height there. So therefore, I can use what? This mathematical expression. Note that gravity G is what? 10 meters per second squared constant value or use 9.81 meter per second squared. So if I give you any question to use, they might give me some question to use either this or this. But in this case here, I'll choose to use any one because it's not stated that we should use any of it. So from here now, I'm saying that work done is equal to mass times gravity times height. So therefore, work done now. Wait, before we proceed, are we converting? Of course, no. Why? Kilogram meter. So not to convert again. So mass is meant to be in kilogram. Height is meant to be in meter. So they are correct. They are saying they are correct. So I don't need to convert. So therefore now, mass is what? 50 multiplied by gravity is 10. Multiplied by height is 3. Work done here is equal to... um. 1500 newton what the newton what the newton meter or is into meter or you call it what the or you call it um joule so my answer to to this question becomes 1500 joules as you can see in front of you all right let's try to solve this one here the one says a force of 20 newton is applied to an object causing it to move five meter what is your work done? So for that question there, number two, question two, solution. Um, first is first, I'm given the force F as, uh, what's it called? 20 Newton. Next up, um, I'm given the um, distance covered as five meter, right? Distance, that's X as five meters. So what is the work done? From here now, looking at these two mathematical expressions, of course, I'm going for this one here. So to find the work done, work done, work done is equal to force, which is 20 times distance is 5. So my work done here is equal to 100 joules as my answer to that question here. All right, this example we have been taking are uh, Two very simple, right? Let's take one technical. Um, let's take like two technical questions that might convince you, right? But well, let's try to solve them and let's see how we can solve those questions. Example three says a pump moves five hundred liter of water from a depth of twenty meter. To the surface what is the work done take density as density of water as 1000 kilogram per meter cube and take gravity as 9.81 so i've written out all the parameters so i'm um whenever you the word liter that's like um volume all right so volume now is equal to what 0 0.5 meter cube convert this liter to meter cube divide this value by 1000 we have 0 0.5 meter cube i'm given a height as 20 meter as you can see the question I'm also given density. Density is represented with a Greek symbol called rho. So this rho, yeah, a Greek symbol called rho. We use it to represent density. So rho is equal to 1,000 kilogram per meter cube. Gravity is 9.81 meter per second squared. Fine work done. What do we know from here? We know that, recall, recall that work done is equal to mass times gravity times height. So let's get the following. Am I given height? Of course, height is given 20, no problem. Am I given gravity? Yes, that's 9.8 meter per second squared, no problem. Am I given mass? No. So the question now is that how do we get mass? So from here now, also with respect to density, density rho is what? Mass over volume. From physics, density is mass over volume. At this point, I'm looking for mass. Make mass subject. Mass is equal to rho v. Multiply this to rho v. Mass is equal to what density? Density is given as 1000 multiplied by 
um, volume, that's 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Multiply these two together, I'll have about 500 kilograms as my mass, yes. So I've got my mass, mass is 500, yeah. Let's get work done. We just get work done, W, work done, is equal to mass times gravity times height. Work done, what's mass? Mass is 500, multiplied by gravity, that's um, 9.8 um, meter per second squared, multiplied by height, H, height, sorry, that's 20. Right, height is 20. What's my work done? Work done is equal to, work done here is equal to, let me go on a plate off. Work done here is equal to 500 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 20 there. I have 98,000 Joule per se, right? As my, uh, what's it called? As my value for work done here. So let's have to solve this problem here under perhaps using the idea of work done, right? So, see you in our next class. In the next class, we'll talk about, we'll talk about the concept of energy in our next class. Alright, see you in our next class. If you are interested in joining our WhatsApp group, I will drop the link to our WhatsApp group in the description of this video. Right? So, kindly join our WhatsApp group if you are interested to learn more and also to be notified earlier before um, the video is uploaded on YouTube. So, also, let me encourage you guys by watching the video. Any video you are watching under Excellent Link Academy, try to watch the video at least minimum five minutes before you download the video, please. It helps us in the growth of our YouTube channel. Please try to watch it first before you download, please. All right, see you in our next class.